Hi guys, Emma again. This is something I picked up this week. I've been working pretty hard, but someone brought this in. They picked up at a garage sale. It's a little box with Smith's written on it. Don't know if we can see that real well. It's the Smith's Industries instrument. And if you have a look here, it's a, a rev counter. It goes up to 50,000 RPM. And it's also got a wheel for measuring surface speed and a few other attachments. So I just thought I'd show you. It's got a little sticker on here that says warning. When checking speeds of in excess of 20,000 RPM, the TACO must not be run longer than 10 seconds at a time. Allow bearings to cool before reapplication. Gosh. And it's got a plate with directions for use. And the scale to read. And it says use rubber driving centre for high speed range. And it includes either a footage wheel or a metric wheel for meters per second or feet per or me, meters per minute or feet per minute. That's not a lot of help because there is a wheel here, and I guess there's a way to calculate whether it's a meter one or a foot one. But um, I have to think about that a bit. That just attaches to the to the taco on there with a with a drive pin. It's got another spanner which I don't think or, or an attachment I'm not sure that's actually part of it it doesn't seem to fit it anywhere and they come with it and that's chrome plated but it could be anything that was in the in the box with it and it's I've given it a bit of a clean up here it's got a lock button so you set the set the speed there and then then lock him and it'll tell you what speed you your machines doing when it's shafting three scales 500 rpm 5000 rpm and 50000 rpm so that's the smiths the smiths industrial division down there london nw2 pretty cool find i did use it to just check the lathe speeds so here we are over at the lathe and i've set this on the 5000 scale and we're about half gear here. And if we unlock the unlock the uh, the taco, that's telling us if we lock it. Check that with the rubber wheel that we're doing about five hundred and. At 550 RPM, which is what I calculated out when I built the put the machine together. So that's the way that works. If we slow this down again now, put him out of gear, move this gear up here to move this belt up here to the top side. running fairly slow that should be running we have a look here we're doing about 300 there at that speed so we can get a more accurate I think reading if we convert this change this arrow here around to the 500 setting if we try again We're reading there at about 270 RPM, so that's just ticking over there. On the other side, if 
run this belt up and put him back in gear. We'll run pretty quick there. And we're doing about 900, 925, something like that, which is a bit slower than I thought. In the higher speed, I thought we might be doing a bit quicker than that. So, it's probably fairly comfortable. If we change the wheel over on the end, it's got a rubber wheel on this end, which just goes on with a key. If we slip that off, just a spike here, which is a bit rough. And put this wheel on, which is the feet per minute wheel. Like such. Then this will give us reading there, I don't know what it means yet, but I guess with a, a known diameter and a known speed, we should be able to work out feet per minute and decide pretty easily. I'll report back when I have. So, there we go, that's the Smith's Taco. It's quite a good, well-made machine. I bet it was expensive when it, when it came out. And thanks for watching, guys. I haven't sort of messed with it very much. So it's quite good for slow speeds too, I think. So it's got an adjustment screw for calibrating it on the bottom there. And I thought that was pretty cool. So just a quick Christmas video on my day off to, to give you some idea what I what I have picked up. I've been looking for a, a taco for a while, but this one's a bit older and I didn't even know such a thing existed. But it's in a flash box and it's all leatherette bound and it's all there I think, so I can't find a, a model number that tells me whether it's a footage one or a, a meters one, but I have to have a think about it and calculate it out I guess. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and more soon.